Hello, my name is Carmela Bakes. Viewer discretion is advised. This content that you are about to view may be offensive. If you are easily offended, then please do not watch. Thank you. Have a nice day. So I guess today must be all this week or this month must be let's promote T.I.'s podcast week because that's what this was all about. That's what Tyler Perry going on T.I.'s podcast talking about men in a dress was all about. Was all about promoting T.I.'s podcast. It must be, you know what I'm saying, promotion week or promotion month for T.I.'s podcast. So the spotlight is not on Tyler Perry, but the spotlight is on T.I. and his podcast. Now, I said all that to say this. T.I. is the last one to be talking about wearing a dress. T.I. is the last one to be talking about cooning for dollars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, T.I. T. is the number one coon. I mean, come on, yeah, let's keep it real here. You cannot, you know what I'm saying, an ordinary human being cannot get caught with a whole lot of assault rifles claiming that I was just trying to protect my family. Come on, let me find out. Let me see. One of you all get caught with all type of assault rifles and see won't the judge throw you up under the jail. That's fed time. Why did T.I. spend county time? Anyway, I, I digress. You know what I'm saying? That's the old news, right? We got to forget about T.I. and his gun charges, right? Because that's swept under the rug, right? Just just forget about T.I. and him getting caught. You know what I'm saying? Him doing Crime Stopper commercials. <laughs> Just forget about T.I. and him doing Crime Stoppers commercials and him getting caught with a whole all these assault rifles and you know what I'm saying and he's out with a podcast and he's out doing movies and doing shows and bigger than he ever was. Let's just forget about that, right? The same way we got to forget about slavery, right? The same way we for, we got to forget about Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Well, the Negro was brought into Egypt, which is America, again on cargo slave ships. We got to forget about that and just love everybody. Anyway, so Tyler Perry goes on um, T.I.'s podcast. And they talk about, Tyler Perry said nobody told him. To put on a dress. Tyler Perry. Come on people. People you need to do your research. Before you before you take a liking to somebody. What you need to do is do your research on that nigga. See. When I first came on the scene. You motherfuckers did research on me. Y'all did research on me right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tried to bring up old shit. I remember y'all tried to, you know what I'm saying, bring up, you know what I'm saying, my old companies I used to have and saying that they was fraud companies and stuff like that. Y'all brought up a lot of old shit against me. But yet, y'all didn't say anything that I haven't already told my people. See, that's why you cannot expose me because I done exposed myself. I done, ex I done told you everything that could possibly be told against me. So that's why they hate me. That's why I cannot go nowhere. That's why they cannot touch me. But, see, Tyler Perry, somebody need to dig into Tyler Perry's life and ask Tyler Perry why was he, before he became famous... Before he had the TV show or the, the movie or whatever you want to call it, Madea character. Before he had Madea character, what was Madea character? Madea was Sophia. Ooh. Ooh, Tyler Perry, you ain't talking about that, are you? 
Talk about that, Tyler Perry. Talk about how that transgender male comedian that was hosting a gay, a transgender, you know what I'm saying, comedy club down in Florida. Yes, it was a transgender male who had a character named Sophia. And she had her own show in a gay comedy club in Florida. And Tyler Perry frequented that gay comedy club. Taking everything from that gay comedian. See, the gay comedian, her gimmick, well, I'm saying her, it's a he. He got a dick. So he is a he. So I'm not can't say her. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like these like, satanic scumbags. You know what I'm saying? I want you to identify me as a her. Though you are a he. You got a dick. You are a he. So this transgender man had a show and it was called Sophia. And the same characteristics that Modia imitated Sophia was doing. It's just that, see, Sophia just was in a small gay comedy club in Florida. Nobody knew about her. So, the elites, and this is what the elites do. The elites, instead of, you know what I'm saying, signing that gay man to a deal to be Medea or to be Sophia on the big screen they want to take one of their own you know what I'm saying they want to use one of their own so they had Tyler Perry go and copy this man's whole gimmick he would go to this comedy club and sit in the back every night Copy this man's whole gimmick. And then he became this gay man. And he just changed the name from Sophia to Medea. Don't believe me? They might have scrubbed the web. So you might not see it no more. Or, or Tyler Perry probably got rid of him. Or probably paid him off. So you probably won't see his content on YouTube no more. But it used to be on YouTube. The, the, the guy Sophia. And how he was how he was talking about. You know what I'm saying? How Tyler Perry took his whole shit. And Tyler Perry, you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't call him or nothing like that. Now, talk about that. What happened to Sophia? Did you pay him off? Or did you kill him? Tyler Perry. Because I haven't been searching for Sophia yet. I haven't looked him up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's still on the uh, internet or not. You know what I'm saying? If he's not, then you you know something. Ha- either he, they got rid of him or they paid him off. But Tyler Perry's whole gimmick was from a gay man. A gay man. Why don't he talk about that? Talk about that, Tyler Perry. And then you became, from Sophia, you just changed the name to Medea. And you became a big sensation going, walking around in a dress. So, let's see. Let's see here. If I'm straight, I have no business in a gay club. You know what I'm saying? If I'm straight, I have no business, you know what I'm saying, hanging around and going and hanging with any type of gays. I have no business doing that if I'm straight. But if I'm straight and every time you see me, I'm hanging out in gay clubs, then that's, that tells you something about me, right? That's saying that, hey, I got, I must got a little sugar in my tank because I got a, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I got a little walk, I'll be walking on the wild side a little bit. Because I don't think a gay man would not be even interested in stepping foot inside of a gay club. Let alone sitting in a gay club watching gay comedians say gay jokes. So that needs to be in question, but but nobody wanted to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? 
everybody just like, you know what I'm saying, just like Tyler Perry, and you know, he's, you know what I'm saying, he's in a dress and everything. The man's gay, people. The man is gay. You cannot be in Hollywood without being gay. You know what I'm saying? You cannot. It's impossible for a straight man to achieve the success that Tyler Perry achieved and be straight. It is impossible. They say never say never. I'm saying never. It is impossible. Because let me tell you something, people. The Baphomet is the god of Hollywood, right? Take a look at how the Baphomet is. The Baphomet is a gay god. So, if the Hollywood has a gay god, you got to worship that gay god. You got to become like that gay god. Because, see, we as the children of the Most High God, we are made in the image of the Most High God. So, when you cross over and you pass your soul through the fire of the Moloch, you become in the image of your God. You see how that works, people? But people don't see it that way. But anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Gospel Talk Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like this show. Hit that hate button if you hate this show. Hit that comment or leave a question or comment on this show. Don't forget, check out Sister Camilla Bates, famous gospel singer. She just dropped her brand new single off her debut album called I Am God's Greatest Creation. Available on Apple iTunes right now. Click on the website link below to go to her website and check her out. Don't forget about our weekly podcast show every Friday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That link is in the description box below. There's a lot of little other goodies in the description box below. Check it out. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you. Yeah. Uh-huh.